Hello everyone, Rex here and welcome to Elwa's Awakening. This is a new Metroidvania game coming out very soon to Steam. I will have a link to the Steam page in the description below, but the developers were kind enough to give me a press key to show you guys a little bit early. So today we're going to go through the first 20-30 minutes or so of this game, check it a little bit out about what it's all about. It's 8-bit goodness, I can just tell you that. Very NES inspired and... Uh, I'm excited, so let's just start the game, and uh, we'll start a new ad adventure, and uh, we're just gonna get into it. So, the land of Elwa was once a beautiful and peaceful place, filled with vivid lakes, clear skies, and lush forests. Sounds like a nice place. The people living there were free. They took care of one another, and together ensured the safety of the land. It's good, working together. But one day, the peace was broken. Someone wanted Elwa for himself, and a mystical being known as Vikar descended from above. Or Vikar? Vikar? Not quite sure. Armed not by weapons, but instead driven by hate, he slowly began to enslave the people of Elwa. No one could escape his reach. Vikar formed the protectors. Together they sought to claim the ornaments, which are said to give their owner immense power. The ornaments had always been in the hands of the people, safe from evil. With them captured by Viker, all seemed lost. I think it's Viker. Under the demonic reign of Viker, the people of Oa were helpless, and his evil quickly spread throughout the land. The village where the ornaments were kept was destroyed, and hope was gone. Soon began a darkness that would last for centuries. But things are about to change. The people of Alwa have chosen to fight, and from another world a heroine has been sent for... Forsaken Valley. Man, that, that was good. I always love those like sprite openings. Uh, it, it, it's great. Plus the music is very good. I, I'm i a sucker for the 8-bit aesthetic and music and presentation in general. Wake up, Zoe. Or Zoe. Uh, uh, yes? The eternal flame must be lit. Uh, uh, okay. Hello, Zoe. You are in the land of Alwa. I am Saga, and I have brought you here to help us. Alwa has been enslaved by the evil, and we the people have lost our strength and courage to fight back. We cannot do this alone. You must help us. You are stronger than us, and in time you will uncover your true strength. You must enter this tower and go all the way to the top in order to find the magic staff. When you have found the staff, quickly make your way back to town. But watch out, there are many dangerous foes out there. So yeah, classic 8-bit adventure. We can uh, jump. One weird thing is that that menu, I had to skip it with X rather than A. It's a very minor thing, but that was a little odd. Anyway, let's go ahead and climb our tower now. Okay, so we can uh, jump. Oh, we can climb ladders, but at the top we'll need to make sure we do a proper jump. We can probably not do anything with those blocks down there. Uh, I like how it says the desk or the area you're in at the top in the center. There's also a lot of other things uh, there. Not quite sure what everything is. I suppose we will figure that out. I don't think we have any attacks right now. I'm not sure if we're allowed to jump on enemies. Because some games allow that, but others do not. In any case, I think I'm just not gonna risk it. Okay, we can't push that. So I'm just gonna ignore that little skeleton guy. He can live. Ooh, there's a staff right here. You found a magic staff. When you hold it, you can feel there is something really special with it. This item. Cool. Use it with attack. Use it with attack to fight enemies and destroy certain walls. That... They, they mean with like the attack button, but that, that wording does seem a little bit strange out of context. Okay, so what's our attack button? Okay, so our attack button is X, so 
We can now smash things. Doesn't look like we can go further up here, so we'll have to move down now. And that skeleton is back. We can now break that block. And we can smash you. Okay. Cool, cool, I'm down. Can we fall down pits and fall down the lower floor? Yes, we can. Okay. I like that. I, I definitely like that. I don't think there was anything back there. That's where we started. And we come back out. Ooh, a little plant guy. Sorry. Okay, so most things seem to die in one hit. So that's pretty weak so far. But I'm sure we'll encounter stronger enemies later on. Oh, we can we can little do it do a duck. That that that's cool. Ooh, there's a sign there. Can we read it? Doesn't look like we can read it. Okay, well this is start. So we don't have a map found. So you can find a map. Okay, there's gonna be keys and other things. Okay, we could go up there. I'm also gonna check what's here. The amber sacellum. Okay, hold on. Because that means that there is more to explore here. And we will be doing that first. Oh, come on. Okay, ladders. I wish you... Okay, you can stand on top of them. I'm just doing it wrong. I was going to say, it's a bit annoying that you can't stand on top of them. But you can as long as you get to the very top. And then there's no issue. Like that. I just stopped climbing too soon and thought I couldn't stand on them. So that's my bad. Ooh, that looks prickly and bad. I'm not going to touch that stuff. Ah, uh, this music is good. I, I, I like this 8-bit aesthetic. It, it, it's really good. It, it de They definitely nailed the presentation here. They did a good job with that. Okay, there's that guy. Uh, we'll leave him alone for now. We'll just keep climbing. I want to explore Forsaken Valley more. I want to see what's here. Okay, so... I now notice that in the very top right, that's my health. And we have three health bars. And yeah, we lost one, but we got one back pretty quickly again, luckily. So it's all good again. But uh, I wonder how big the areas are and what our ultimate goal is. Of course, we had that one area that we could have gone to. There was a person there. Maybe we should have talked to that person. Ah, well, too late for that now. I'm going to go ahead and make sure you die that will save me later on and good we took you down before you could hurt us oh there's a blue gem there i'm gonna go ahead and jump and i did not make the jump but that's okay we just fall down here and okay those are star blocks so i think those star blocks lead into a new area i think that's what uh they indicate but before that no can we not get there ah we don't don't quite jump high enough. That's unfortunate. Ooh. Well, I don't know what this is. But there's some altar here. Hmm. And what's through here? Warp activated. Okay, so we can warp. Okay, and this is all of the areas. And this is the Forsaken Fort warp. Um, can I cancel my warp? Uh, I guess we can go to an... Not one. Can we talk with you? It doesn't look like we can talk with you. Oh, we can. Okay. Beyond this door, you will find Amber Sakellum, the first step on your journey. In there, you will find a green gemstone and a very powerful enemy. When you have found the stone and defeated the evil, go back to town. This is dungeon is very dangerous, so you will need a map. First, you should go talk to the plat in the town of Westwood. Then pick up the map, do that, and I will let you in. Okay, so we can't go in yet until we do some other stuff first. I guess to ensure that we aren't under underprepared for that. Can we jump on there? We can, but not much further than that. Okay, and you can read them. Okay, with X. Uh, left Void Tower, right Town of Westwood. That's where we need to go. So... I have to say, it is a little bit weird that X seems to be the... Um, the action button. You would expect like B or something. 
Oh well. Welcome Zoe, this is the town of Westwood. Thank you for coming to the land of Alwa. You have been sent for because we are weak. You must help us destroy the evil that threatens our land. Go back to the cave just outside town and talk to the knight. He will open the entrance to Amber Sakellum. There you will find a green gemstone and a very powerful enemy. But before you go, enter this house where you can find a map of Alwa. It will guide you in your journey. Go now, Zoe, and return when you have found the green gemstone and defeated the evil enemy. Okay. So we have our first uh, dungeon that we have to go to, but we got the map. If you check your inventory, it now shows your location. Okay, well, yeah, we can see. Ooh, okay, so it's just tile based. There's some skulls. I assume those are the special enemies that we need to defeat. Um, we have found zero of five orbs in the town of Westwood, and we need, we can have a maximum of 99 orbs. Is that related to our level as well? I'm not quite sure. We'll just learn as we go along. What's to the right here? We can go. I, I guess this is still the town of Westwood, so we can just explore the town a bit more. Oh, there's a guy and he has a cat. Hello, I'm Ori Wairui. Ori Warui? That's a weird name. Welcome to the town of Westwood. I know a lot of things, so come talk to me if you ever need any help. I'm gonna talk to your cat instead. Do not search long at the light. Thanks, cat. I found the blue gemstone. I heard it's a really powerful item. To the east, you will find Gloom Lake. Go there and you can find the entrance to the shrine of the sea monk. Did you find the copper coin? Hmm, okay, there's a copper coin. Okay, when we're strong enough, go to Gloom Lake. Okay, so he just gives random hints whenever you talk to him. That's pretty cool. Uh, further to the right should be Gloom Lake. We don't want to go there yet, I don't think. Oh, hey, okay, so these places are save points. Cool, good to know. We saw a few of them, but I didn't activate them. This bridge is broken and you cannot pass, but if you have the green gemstone, you can create a block that lets you pass. Oh, so the gemstones give you abilities as well, and that's how you advance. So, that that that's definitely very Metroid, basically. You have to gather power-ups to get past obstacles, and that will let you advance further into the game. Okay, ma makes sense, makes sense. So, back into Forsaken Valley. Valley we go. Uh, let's make sure we jump at the right time. Take you out again. And Void Tower is over there. But we can't jump high enough. So I'll have to go down. And this should be another save point? Yes it is. Cool. I do want to wonder though what, what was back there? Because there was a spot earlier with a person that we never actually went to. And I kind of want to chat with her and see what she wants. If we can still get back there. Actually, I don't think I can get back. Because it can't get up there. Ah, I think I missed out. And yeah, we can't climb up there. Okay. Well, we'll just have to uh, move ahead then. Fortunately, no backtracking right now. Because, well, we can't jump high enough. Should have done it sooner. Oh, well, there's a warp here that we can always use later on. Let's talk. Now that you have the map, you are ready. When you have found the green gemstone and the evil is defeated, go back to town. Now let me open this door for you. Thank you. It's very kind of you. So, Amber Sakellum. This must be the first dungeon of the game. Uh, let me see. Do we have a map of this place? Okay, we do. And there are supposedly 12 of these blue orbs. I'm just not making these jumps. I guess I really do need that power up, that green gemstone that allows us to create blocks. That 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 will definitely allow us to make those jumps. Okay, there's a green block there. It's pretty cool. Unfortunately, it's definitely behind the door and we need a key for that. So we'll have to keep an eye out for a key. Okay, can we get this though? We should be able to. There we go, we got our first little blue gemstone. Let's take you out. Ah, oh, he didn't drop any health. Oh, there's a key here. 
And we can't jump that high, so now we need to go back and uh, make sure we open that door. And then we can get that green block. Is that the green gemstone they were talking about? I guess it might be. Okay, we can just walk through. Okay, no, it's just a block that we can push. And uh, whenever you have a key, you can just walk through doors, so you don't really use the key. Oh, there's a bird here. Oh, I figured it was going to shoot me. I was wondering if it did anything and I wanted to go close to it, and then I just totally got myself hit. Okay, well, let's make a quick save here. Because if I keep playing like I am playing, I'm probably going to need it, because I'm probably going to die. Oh, wait, no, the save heals us up. Th that's definitely very useful then. Okay, let's actually push this down. Haha, -ha, and now you can shoot me. Sucks to be you, bird face. Yeah, this little green block stops us. Also, I do like that we're like a female protagonist with Zoe. I haven't really mentioned that, but... You know, there aren't a lot of female protagonists in games. And I think it's good when, you know, uh, developers try to create one. Of course, you know, don't necessarily shoehorn it in or anything. But it's a nice variety. I, I can appreciate that. And Zoe seems like a very cute girl. Plus, I like her little robe and everything. Heck, they could have left her gender ambiguous, too. Because it seems like a relatively gender-neutral uh, sprite to me. Because uh, you wear the little hat. So, you don't really have long or short hair. Which can at times, you know, be associated with... Actually, do I want to drop you on this side? I think I'll try this. Yeah. Yeah, that's in the middle. Um, and yeah, it, you can't really see long hair, which would generally be associated with, you know, female or male. So it, it's pretty ambiguous what the gender would be if they didn't outright specify it, which I think is a good thing. What does this do? Is there not a switch here? Hmm. I guess I can't press it. Oh, wait. I get it. I need to drop the block on it. Duh. Of course. Well, let's do just that. What will happen? Ooh, floaty platforms. That that seems useful. Hopefully they don't go all the way into the lava. Okay, they don't. Whew. Would have been bad to just get dropped straight down into some lava. And I guess the star blocks don't necessarily mean a specific thing. There's probably some optional stuff down there. But, oh. But I want to go ahead and go over here first. Because there were breakable blocks down there. And that is probably something you can't really come back from. Okay, let's talk with you. Go and light the flame in the center of this room. Doing so will let you start from here if your adventure comes to an end. So yeah, it's a safe point. Oh wait, this is back in Forsaken Valley. Oh, I see. So this is where we were. This is actually where I wanted to come back to. And I, I guess that, was this blocked off? Or could, have, could we have always just entered Amber's? Oh no, wait, these platforms wouldn't have been here at first. So that's why you couldn't have gotten in here. Oh, that's clever. So you do have to go all the way back and get the map first. Here's the thing. Do I want to go left or right? I'll go left first. And hopefully I make the right choice. Well, there's a key there. So that's at least something to pick up. Man, I'm having a blast with this game. The music is very kick-ass too. Okay, come on. Can we... Oh, can we just push you on there? Yes, we can. Good. I'll grab the key and don't shoot me. Ooh. He almost did. But good, we got a key. It's definitely going to come in helpful. Uh, okay, I guess we'll just have to cross all the way here and hope we time this right. Okay, well, we can just smack you in the face. And that works out. Ah, uh, we're going to have to use our key immediately. Oh, hey, that guy is just totally spitting at me. And he can spit in all directions, apparently. That's not good for us, because we died. Damn. Well, first game over. It keeps a death count. 
but it doesn't really seem to punish you much else. I mean, you lose all your progress since the last save, but that seems relatively forgiving for, well, what's essentially a game inspired by old NES games, because those definitely had a tendency to be pretty hard. Part of that, oh wait, no, we actually keep our key. So it doesn't even put you back to your save. It, it, it still saves progress like using up keys and stuff. It just doesn't save your position. Your position is only saved at the save spots. Well, that's even more lenient. Okay, um, well, I definitely wanna get my power up if I can. If we go back there, we could probably go and get that blue orb. Maybe I should. Oh, we hit our head. You know what? Maybe I shouldn't do that. Oh, oh, wait, I get it. Wait, no, this doesn't drop. We just bump our head. What? How, how are you supposed to do that? Because you're definitely going to bump your head on that every time. Huh. Is there some way that I'm not thinking of? Can you like crouch jump? No, it doesn't doesn't look like it. Okay, that that seems tricky. Especially since we only have like 3 hits, so we got to be extra careful. I probably shouldn't go back for that one blue orb right now. I should probably wait until I have like a power up that will That definitely sounds like a good plan. But I do want to know, how do they expect you to not take a hit here? Well, that's definitely not it. I think I pretty much screwed myself, yeah. I don't get how to get past that without taking two hits. And that seems pretty insane that you would be required to take two hits to get past there. There has to be something that I'm missing out on. Maybe we can just go a different path. Um, we can, of course, go back here. And that allows us to jump past here. I, I mean, I guess we never went to the right here, did we? So let's do that. Oh no, wait, we can't get up there. So that is definitely the only way we can go then. So you have to take two hits with the jump? I guess that's the only way to do it, isn't it? Unless there's like some super jump technique where you can stay low to the ground or something, but I, I, I don't I don't know it. I haven't discovered it. Okay. Well, we'll have to just uh, try that again. In the meanwhile, we can just keep enjoying this kick-ass music. It's very catchy. It's very, very catchy. I, I, I like it a lot. Sorry, dude. You have to die. The enemies don't seem too tough. Like, these guys that shoot like bullets, they are annoying. But most of the enemies are dying in a single hit. So that's not too impressive. You know what? I'll just tank the two hits. Fine. Since that's what you seem to want me to do. Except... Hmm... Can I make that? No, I cannot. Okay. Oh, you can take two hits. Well, good for you. Let's see. Oh, yes. We get it now. You found the green gemstone. It glows with a mysterious light. You place it on your staff and it fits perfectly. Now you can hold up and press attack to create gemstone blocks. Every time you create a block, it uses magic, so you have to wait for your magic meter to be refilled before you can create another block. Okay, so we can we can create blocks. We'll have to test that out for sure. And yep, they very cleverly make you um, use it immediately to get past your first obstacle. And it just auto refills, but it takes like a little bit of time. The tiniest bit of time. Do we want to go back and get some other stuff? 
there is definitely some optional stuff that we can get. But we'll move over here. We'll see what else we can find. Uh, let's actually create a block here. Haha! -ha! You can't hurt me. I don't think we can really get past here. Although... Oh no, okay, we can only have one block out at the time. Well, that's good to know, too. But then, yeah, there's no way we're gonna get past there. Easily, at least. Oh, I forgot about that. I forgot about the fact that I only have one hit left. Well, do we still have our power? Yes, we do. Okay, cool. In that case... There's some stuff we can get now. Or should be able to get. First of all, right over here. Also, there is an evil that we need to defeat. I'm not sure how to do that yet. Also, how will we get up there? There's no way we can make that jump. Unless... Would there be a fake wall? Would they, would they do that? Well, in a Nintendo game, I can imagine that they would create fake walls. Yep, that's it. Oh, game, I figured it out. Fake walls. Fake walls. Ah, these things are not timed great. Always make me wait. Okay, okay. We now have the power of blocks, though. So that does help us. Um, was there any blue orbs over here that we missed? I just want to take a quick look. No, there's none over here. Okay, well, I guess we should try to collect them. I still don't really know what they do. We have four of them and four out of 99. Is that 99 needed to get a new level? Because that seems quite high for a new level. Okay, you are going to keep shooting at me. And that is very not appreciated. You know what? I should have not done it the way I did it. That was that was definitely definitely not not great. Oh, come on. Let's create one here. Nope. 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 I want you to stand there. We're we're going to hit our head and die. Watch. I still don't know how to make those jumps. I still don't know how to make that jump. Okay, you know what? Doesn't matter. We're gonna go ahead and look for the great evil. Because there should be an evil in here as well. So if we check our map... It should be to the right of that safe point over there. I don't know what the W is. I think that might be the town. The Westwood town. Yeah, I, I guess that makes the most sense. It's the town of Westwood. So, and then, yeah, you can see that one skull to the right of the red pot. This entire red pot is the amber seculum, I guess. And that skull is the evil that we need to defeat. So we were almost there and then we died. So let's see if we can get back there. And this time, not die. That would be ideal. Okay, what if we create... A block? No, because that, that will just make us hit our head even more. I'm, I'm confused, honestly. How are you meant to do this without hitting your head? I feel like there should be a trick to it that I am not aware of. And that's not, not good to not be aware of something like that. Okay, we can just block him in like that. That that that's helpful at least. Okay. If we check our map. Okay, we would need to go up. Cause oh right, yeah. To the To the left or to the right of here is where we got our power up. So we definitely need to go up here. And then we need to go to the left and up. There's also a pot to the right. But that's probably with optional stuff. So I'm gonna ignore that. And we're actually gonna go ahead and loop back around here. Yeah, if we can make it up here. 
Which we maybe can? I'm not 100% sure if we can though, but I'm gonna try. I'm gonna go ahead and take you down as well. Can we jump through this? No, we just bump our head. Of course we just bump our head. Okay, um, let's create a block like right on the ledge here. Um, we can do that. I, th I think that's a jump that you can make. We just need a, a pixel more over. There we go. Oh, didn't jump, didn't jump. That's okay. Let's go ahead and make this jump. Oh yes, except then we can't get up there. So that was all in vain. Um, okay. Then what do we do? C can we get the, take the upper path here? Oh yes, we can. Nice, made that jump. Sorry, bird face, but I have a block now. And we can get past you. Okay, cool. And now we're making progress. That's good. Okay, wait. This this opens the door? Oh no, it created a platform. Okay. Well, we don't need you anymore. I'm definitely gonna go ahead and write that all the way to the end. Oh, almost didn't make the jump because I didn't expect it to come that far to the left. But here we are. Is this... No, this isn't the boss. It's another save point though. That's definitely good we can use more save points Ooh, I've already been going for half an hour but I'm having fun I'm gonna keep going and you guys just get a long episode because I, I want to see if we can at least beat the boss here before this is over okay there's that bird face that's gonna shoot at me That's okay. We dodged him. Okay, there's a... Oh, ah, these guys are really the worst. Which shoot in all directions. Especially since that was not a shot that I could have blocked. At least not very easily. Ah. Those guys are the worst. Okay, well, there's this block. I'm not sure what they want me to do with it. I mean, sure, I could use you like that. Unless... Will we need two blocks to get up there? I don't think so, right? We'll check, we'll check. Because we might need a second block to... Yeah, okay. So we need two blocks to get that high. So we're gonna have to push this green one the other way. And then make our way around. I think. Oh, actually, oh, oh, okay, okay. This is sneaky. But we need to push it across this. Then we'll create a new block and then we can push it. Yeah, I figured it out. Because else it would have just gotten stuck against the wall again. Boom, and now we can make a little staircase for ourselves and we're past there. Nice, okay. We're looping around to the boss, it seems. Oh, 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 ah, too many birds. I freaked out for a second there. Okay, well, that was a dead end anyway. So there was nothing to the sides there. Okay, there is a bird here. I see the bird. Is the bird gonna shoot at me? I feel like at any moment I can be attacked by a bird. Oh, no, no. Oh, I realized too late that I was breaking my own block. That's unfortunate. And now I have to get all the way back there. Well, okay, we made it back. But the issue or my issue with most NES games is starting to show here again. I rush and then when I die, I want to get back. So I rush even more and then I get hit even more. And that's not a slide on the game at all, but it's a slide on me, because then I die again. Because I took too much damage, and you can see my death count has also gone up quite a bit. Let's try to get back there one more time. I want to do this. I want to beat Amber Selim. Was it Amber Selim? 
Whatever. Sekelum. Yeah, I want to beat it before we end this. Let's go. Okay, I made it up here with full health this time. I, I did quite well. That that face that shoots in all directions, it kept getting me in the previous attempts. But this time, he didn't get me. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm proud of myself for that. Oh, nice. We ducked out underneath and we're further. Nice, we're making progress. And we got a new save point to boot. Oh, that that is so good. I am so happy about that. Have you seen any blue orbs lying around? They're very powerful. And if you see any, you should try to collect them. The more you have, the more powerful you become when fighting the protectors. There is also a treasure hidden somewhere in this dungeon. You should really try to find it before you leave. Hmm... Okay, so we can go to the left and that seems to lead to the boss. Or we can go to the right and explore more. Well, since this video has been going on for quite a while, we'll, we'll start by going to the left. And we'll see if we can take on the boss. Ooh, okay. This is probably gonna be tough. How dare you enter these chambers? Why have you come to this land to destroy us? We have done nothing to you. You should show Viker your divine honor and respect. He is the only true deity. But enough talk. Have at you. Oh, oh, it's a giant spider. And a ton of tiny spiders. I, I'm not sure what to do here. Ah! Okay. Let's push a block here. We'll be safe behind that block at least. Ah, oh, damn it. Nope. We can at least safely duck behind our block here. So that's good. Although, ah, this is gonna hit me. Yep. Okay. Okay. Well, we got a save point, like, right next to it. I don't know what that requires. It has, like, a lightning bolt on it. Doesn't matter. We'll try the boss again. Is it just gonna start? Or is it gonna show its dialogue again? Okay, no, it just starts straight away. That's pretty cool. Okay, I'm gonna put that down. Oh, damn it. Okay, I didn't get any hits off. That's okay. The spiders will probably shift a little bit. Yep, we'll, we'll try to dodge them. Come on, why am I not hitting them? I'm not doing too great. Okay, let's lure you over. Oh, come on. I need to get better. I think we need to defeat this... Tiny spiders, and if we do that, then, um, we can t maybe get a hit on the big boss. Although I'm not sure why we're not hitting them. I, f I thought we would be doing okay, but yeah, no, our, our attacks are just going through them. So I'm not quite sure how we are expected to do this. Yeah, we're not doing any damage, so maybe we need to... Try to make our way over to the big guy. Nope, that was a bad idea. That that was a really bad idea, actually. I, I regret that idea. But we're not hitting these guys. I'm not quite sure what the trick here is. Do we maybe drop this on them or something? No, that doesn't seem to do the trick. Huh. Yeah, we're not doing damage by slashing at them. Do we slash at the big boss then? But that's scary. <laughs> Getting all up close with him. Yeah, no, we're not doing damage there. So maybe we do have to jump up closer. And get all up close and personal with uh, big spider here. I'm not a fan of that, but that that's what it seems like we have to do here. Okay, we... I thought I did damage on it, but I think it was just mostly me taking damage. Let's see if we can figure this out. Because... There has to be some trick to it. Our moves are basically placing blocks, jumping, and then... Yeah, 
Yeah, like, we can definitely not do any damage here. I'm not sure if... Yeah, I, I am seemingly doing damage there, except... He will just destroy us if we try to keep doing it like this. Yeah, no, we're, we're standing in him then. The only way to do damage is by standing in him, it seems. Okay. I'm... Maybe we need to drop blocks on him or something? But that seems tricky. The Vicious Keeper. Okay, okay, okay. We, we hit him. And we're safe here. He hopefully doesn't destroy the block now. Okay, he didn't. And we can damage him. Okay. Okay, I found the safe spot. Although, these spiders are probably gonna lower into me. Yep. I was afraid of that happening. And that is exactly what happened. Okay, now that spider shouldn't be hitting me anymore. So that's good. He's gonna... Oh, what's this? Oh, that, that that's not good. I want my block back. And I'm gonna hide again. He's gonna destroy the block, but we should be okay. Because after that, we can get some damage in. Oh, he only has one health left. Okay, we got this. We got this. He's gonna destroy my block. And then we're gonna hit him. Yes! We got the Vicious Keeper down. It took me a couple of tries to figure out how to do it, but I did it. Ah, that feels good. You know, I'm I'm not great at, at games in general. Uh, I actually want to save, though. I, I actually want to save real bad. Because I am so afraid that I'm gonna die now. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and... Uh, We'll walk back rather than forward, of course, you know, we did beat the boss, so maybe we can move forward now, but before we do that, we'll just save the game. And you know what? I think that will do it for this episode. We went on quite a bit longer than I was already intending, but I just had so much fun with it. The presentation is sublime, especially if you're into the 8-bit aesthetic, then this really nails that in my opinion. And the gameplay is really fun. I'm sure that we'll learn more different kinds of magic as well later on that you can use, switch between. And yeah, it, it seems like a really cool game. And I'm, I'm excited to play some more uh, on my own time. But if you guys want to see more, then hey, maybe I can do some Let's Plays of it or something as well. You'll just have to let me know. But uh, yeah, if you want to get the game... There's a link to the Steam page in the description down below. And if you want to see more of my content, then you can press that subscribe button below this video as well. So that's going to do it for this video. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you all next time around.